Hello there guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be working on making some jerk meat, otherwise known as jerky. A lot of references in 18th century and early frontier times called it jerk meat. And uh, how that was done was they built a, a little frame like this. A lot of times they just drove in four uh, sticks with a Y on it into the ground and laid uh, little saplings across it. Um, I, I built like an A-frame, I mean like a tripod style right now. And I'm going to use my little sticks here and lay them across as a place for my meat to lay on. And the reason I used a tripod instead of just using posts was because it's kind of cold out. And I wanted to use some pine branches to cover the top to help hold the smoke in. When it's uh, when you're making jerky, you want it to dry out, not really cook from the fire. I don't think I'm gonna have time for that completely, so I might lower this and just kind of smoke cook the meat. Um, if you're doing this properly, it might take 12 to 24 hours, but a lot of the references I see, uh, such as Nicholas Crespo's journal or uh, Philip Tome's book called 30 Years a Hunter, it sounds like a lot of what they could do was in tw about 12 hours, one day, they spend making jerky. And this was vital to their uh, needs and their supplies for food. But, uh, so today I'm going to try this, and uh, I'm going to get a fire going underneath here, I'm going to get my meat cut up in little strips, lay it out on here, and then try to cover this up to try to hold in some of the, some of the smoke. So uh, stay with me and uh, we'll get going on this. Just thought I'd come out here and have a little fun. guys so I got my meat cut in little strips but I want to go even smaller so I want to split these uh, probably in thirds even off of this so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them up just gonna start laying them right across my little scaffolding here The thinner, the quicker. Don't mind a little tree bark in your uh, in your meat. And uh, the leaner the meat, the better too. Alright guys, so I'm taking a bundle of these spruce branches, I'm just tying them together in the little bundles. Now on the frontier, if you were working on doing this, you'd have a fresh hide from the animal you just killed. 
and you could cut that hide into strips. Use as something to lash with, or you could use some sinew. Use whatever you have available. Just gonna keep working on working on this. Got a few needles and branches on my meat, but you know, spruce isn't a bad flavor. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start making a little bit more of a smoky fire. Throwing some of these on top there. And then uh, we'll get some more smoke in there and try to start drying out our meat a little more. Alright guys, right up there is a little red squirrel hopping around. If I can peg him with my fowler, we're going to cook him up. Now he's headed over this way. I'll try to get this shot on camera, but when they're moving around quick like that, it's kind of hard, fellas. You're by yourself. Guys, he's moving quick. I'm going to go after him. But, uh... I'm going to go after him, but you guys might not be able to Follow along. So, uh, hold tight here. Fellas, he got away from me. He was pretty quick. But uh, I'll keep an eye out. They like to hang out in these spruce trees here. But uh, if I uh, if I get a shot, I'm gonna take take one and roast him over the fire quick. So. Squirrel's back. Can you see him hopping at the bottom of that aspen tree with the uh, mushrooms there? Kind of right, right in there. I'm gonna take a shot here. There we go. Got him. There's a little snack while we're waiting for our meat. Here we are, fellas. Little squirrel, we'll skin him up and uh, get him roasted. I just started on the belly. I don't know if there's anything super specific with these. Guys, I just 
stuck them through here. And the other side just kind of rests here. Keep getting pine branches falling down on it. Pine needles. Just gonna, gonna roast them like a hot dog. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out. It was a lot of fun, really fun day. My uh, camera's battery is just about out, so probably not going to get to show you the rest of the jerky or eating the rest of the squirrel, but I'm just going to cook them on here like this for a while and then turn them over. But uh, I'll show you this jerky in here. getting fine pine branches on it but you can see it's starting to dry out there see that there it's coming along my needles keep falling on it but it's gonna be really good once it's done I apologize for the battery running out but uh, it's just about done as it is but I know a lot of guys haven't been able to get out and do things, especially since COVID started. A lot of people are confined to their houses. And, and uh, I've been really blessed this year. I'm uh, st still able to get out now and then. But uh, I hope I hope some of you enjoyed this. Uh, just kinda, I like to share just because I know some of you are probably not able to get out as much. And, my wife's uh, my wife's away for the week, and thought I'd come out here and have a little fun. But uh, you know, here in northern Minnesota, it's a beautiful day here in no early November. It's about 35 out here. My moccasins are getting kind of soaked. The snow is melting, especially around the fire here. Really enjoying this new Fowler that I, Fowler that I got. It's a 20 gauge, and uh, right now I'm loading it with seven and a half shot, and I've shot shot a, a couple squirrels now, and I shot a snowshoe hare and a grouse. But I wasn't able to get the grouse and the hare on uh, on camera. It was actually the same day. It was a really fun night. I'm thinking about gonna go getting a GoPro so that I can wear the camera on my head. Because uh, I, I'm out here by myself most of the time, and I can't get uh, get a good shot on the camera. It's just about impossible by myself. So I, I'm looking into getting a GoPro. And, uh, then I can wear it on my head, and you can get more of a first-person view of my hunts. Because then I could have gotten the, the rabbit and the grouse on camera, too. And that was a different day. that I had my other cell phone, my cell phone with, and it, uh, the autofocus goes crazy and I can't lock it, but the squirrel, it's pretty much done here. So if you can bear with the autofocus on that camera, let me show you this a little bit, it's kind of hot. But all I did was just stick this stick down in the soft ground right over the fire. <clears throat> Worked great, just stuck it in there like that. Well, Ooh, my stick's hot. <clears throat> little, little dry.
it's actually got a little bit of a spruce flavor to it from all the little branches dripping down off, a little bit of sap dripping on it. Not too bad. This uh, jerky up here. It's actually done enough to eat. That tastes really good. But I wouldn't call this, this is not shelf stable jerky or anything. This would just be smoked meat basically. That is very tasty. It's got to completely dry out to be stable. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully I can get some more videos made. Let me know if you want to see any more videos or what kind of videos you want to see next. So uh, take care and have a great day.